The church season of Epiphany, which we've just left, began with the story of the baptism of Jesus in the River Jordan by John the Baptist. Now, the story is picked up in the first Sunday of Lent with the follow-up of that event. But the ending of the baptism story isn't how we might have expected it. This story is titled, The Temptation of Jesus. The Gospel this morning is found in Luke's Gospel, the fourth chapter. I will be reading the first 13 verses. Jesus, full of the Holy Spirit, returned from the Jordan and was led by the Spirit into the wilderness, where for 40 days he was tempted by the devil. He ate nothing at all during those days, and when they were over, he was famished. The devil said to him, If you are the Son of God, command this stone to become a loaf of bread. Jesus answered him, It is written, One does not live by bread alone. Then the devil led him up and uh, showed him in an instant all the kingdoms of the world. And the devil said to him, To you I will give their glory and all this authority. For it has been given over to me, and I give it to anyone I please. To you, then, will worship me, it will be yours. Jesus answered him, It is written, Worship the Lord your God, serve only him. Then the devil took him to, the, to Jerusalem and placed him on the pinnacle of the temple, saying to him, If you are the Son of God, throw yourself down from here. For it is written, He will command his angels concerning you to protect you. And on their hands they will bear you up, so that you will not dash your foot against a stone. Jesus answered him, It is said, Do not put the Lord your God to the test. When the devil had finished every test, he departed from him until an appropriate time. May these words open us to the Spirit's presence. And may we come to us this day. 